During aging, the de novo NAD synthesis pathway is dysfunctional. And we know that because quinolinic acid increases during aging, whereas NAD levels decline during aging. That highlights a potential block in the conversion of quinolinic acid into NAD, which is shown here. So under normal conditions, quinolinic acid is converted by QAPRT into NAMN, and after two more enzymatic steps, we get conversion into NAD. But there may be a, an age-related block at QAPRT, so in earlier videos, I've pitched the hypothesis that we may be able to increase QAPRT activity, or levels and or activity, thereby increasing NAD. So for my most recent NAD test, I decided to try fish oil fatty acids, including EPA and DHA. And if you missed the why behind that question, I'll link to that video in the right corner. So did fish oil fatty acids increase NAD? So for this test, I supplemented with 2.1 grams per day of omega-3 coming from fish oil for 18 days before testing. And I didn't change my baseline fish intake, which mostly comes from sardines. I then sent blood to Ginfinity for NAD analysis, discount link in the video's description for those who want to do that themselves. And then for a September 11th test, I got an NAD level of 18 and a half micromolar, which is a bit below my baseline NAD of 20 to 25 micromolar. So from these data, we can see that we can get an answer to our question about fish oil potentially increasing NAD, and the answer is definitely not. So for the next test, I'll return to nicotinic acid supplementation, which we can see after three enzymatic steps is converted into NAD. But rather than looking at what can happen, I know that nicotinic acid in my case definitely increases NAD as 654 milligrams per day in the past raised NAD to my highest level yet of 67 micromolar. But as we saw in the last video, that may have pushed my Dunedin pace, so my epigenetic pace of aging, towards my worst data over seven tests. So with that in mind, what's the lowest nicotinic acid dose that can raise NAD without messing up any other biomarkers? So for the next test, the plan is to go with 100 milligrams per day of nicotinic acid, 60 milligrams coming from NA, 40 milligrams coming from diet, so 100 milligrams in total for niacin, I should have said. And will that be enough to get an NAD boost? If not, I'll slowly increase to find that lower limit that may increase NAD, but not mess up any other biomarkers. The plan is to test on October 2nd, so stay tuned for that update video coming sometime later in October. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for NAD quantification, epigenetic testing, at-home metabolomics, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing, including ApoB, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.